Oh, we yeah. were COVID victims. We were COVID. Being pregnant with COVID, uh, to me. Yeah, I'm um, going to say. Christ himself carried our sins in his body to the cross so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. It is by his wounds that you have been healed. Hey guys, I'm Activerse. I'm Isaverse. And we are the Verse family. family. Today's going to be a different angle, but we're going to be talking about COVID. We're talking about COVID? Yeah. COVID is trash. COVID is caca. Praise the Lord. We were COVID victims. We were COVID. Being pregnant with COVID, uh, to me. Yeah, I'm um, going to say. What? I wanted to see what you're going to say. Uh, I was going to say, like, to me, it's like, it's a tough thing, you know what I mean? Like. I mean, was I harder to deal with than when, like, normal? Yes, yeah, sugar. You took very good care of me. I appreciate it. I did? He had COVID too, though. So like the first couple I cool. days, I helped take care of him. No, the and first couple of days, I took care of him. The rest you. of the two weeks. The third day, it hit me. He took care of me. The third day, it hit him hard. Mm -hmm. Me, it was the first Let's day. Let's introduce the food. We are eating Thai food. Shout out to Eat Drink AZ for connecting us with this uh, brand. Thank you, Melissa. What was I saying? C COVID. COVID, the third, third day. day. On the third day. <laughs> We needed Jesus. We watched uh, Passion we of Christ. We watched Passion of Christ to encourage us. Because we were Because like, we were struggling. The Lord is good. God is good. He pulled us through to the other side. Better is the end of the thing, I'll tell you that. But the first day, I thought it was just like pregnancy stuff going out of whack. She had it on Monday. I had it on, no, you got it on Sunday? Sunday? Monday. Monday? Monday, Monday. is After affected After our doctor's you, yeah. appointment was when it affected me. Yes. And I got blood out, mm -hmm. and I had an A, so I thought it was like a mixture of all these things. Yeah. And then that after we ate, I threw up, and I never threw up. It was up. so sad when she throws up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like her body's forcing her. Yeah. To like let it's go. It's forcing me because I don't want to throw she up. She usually doesn't throw up. I know? don't throw up ever, and so I'm just like I give up. I'm just like, Ugh, come out. Yeah. Just go ahead. Here, eat. Let me talk. We're talking who was? You talk too much, yeah. I'm just kidding. She stopped throwing up, and she haven't, you know, throwing up during her pregnancy at all. So I was like, I thought it was because, like, all these people that's been asking us recently. Yeah, he thought they got to me. Yeah, I thought they got to her. I was like, what the heck? It's like, I, I've been hearing a lot of people saying, have you thrown up? Have you thrown up? Have you thrown up yet? Have you thrown up yet? Do you throw up? Do you throw up? What's the, why that first thing people say? I felt like texting everyone during COVID, like, hey, I threw up. If you're wondering. <laughs> you bet. Since you're worried about. You've been asking I me. I had morning sickness. No, but it wasn't morning sickness. It was just COVID. And then um, I got dizzy out of nowhere because I threw up everything I had in me. Mm -hmm. so I and know. dehydration. Yeah, everything. <laughs> I threw up everything. Yeah, so we just couched it out. We just camped up on our couch. Yeah, didn't leave. Didn't speak to each other. Just Barely. looked at each other like this. And go back to sleep. Like, hi. I'm going to order food. How you go doing? Go back to sleep. You're healed and whole. Go back to sleep. I'm going back. Yeah, we rested. Yeah, I slept like four times a day. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? Like, and he normally can't. Like, if he takes a nap at like 5 p.m., oh, yeah. he won't sleep at night. Yeah. And he'll be up till like 3 and then go to sleep at yeah. 3 and then wake up late. Okay, that's why I can't take naps later. That's why you day. can't. I can. I could take a nap at 7, go back to sleep at 9. <laughs> You can so. take a nap at 8.05 and go back to sleep at 8.06. Doesn't make sense. Basically, you just wake up and go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. But he was that. sleeping like the whole evening to morning. So I was like, oh, rest. Yeah. It was a painful for one day for me. And then we had a church service here. So I was like, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm going to get up right now. Yeah. And I, I'm going to display my faith in action because I'm mm -hmm. like I can't be just sleeping on bed so I was in bed Tuesday afternoon till Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday at 6 yeah when I had to get up for it um service to get service. ready yeah and we got ready and we got ready that's when like my spirit lifted up like literally yeah yeah for me the first day was the hardest because I didn't like I thought it was just pregnancy so I was like oh it'll pass and it never passed I was like what the heck and then Tuesday morning, I went to the hospital because I didn't feel good. And I had a fever. That's what threw me off. I thought it was fever or cold or something like that at first. I thought it was like the flu. Or a flu. Or something. I was like, there's nobody that just and then, told you you were COVID positive. Yeah, I went to the hospital and I was there for a few hours. And they gave me IV fluids. And I felt better after that. 
right. that that helped me a lot because I was dehydrated. Mm -hmm. I had an eight, so it was just terrible. And they poked me. I got a bruise still. No thanks. That's too big. But yeah, and then I felt better. And then I knew it was COVID, so I texted him like, I tested positive for COVID. And I talked to everyone else. Hey guys, guess what? The cobra. The cobra, man. It came for me. And we haven't had, you know, COVID since the beginning. Yeah, since it's been in existence. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's because our immune system was like down bad. Yeah, because I wasn't eating a lot before that. Yeah. Because my appetite just wasn't there. So I was eating like a quarter of what I normally eat. And then he was fasting, mm -hmm. so he wasn't eating what he normally eats, so our bodies weren't equipped. And the cold, the cold has just started in there. Yeah, the weather switch. I would say, like, all of those factors matter, but at the end of the day, I think the strength in my faith, to be honest. Yeah, praise the Lord. I just consider it as a symptom, to be honest with you. Like, it's not even like, like I'm not going to be, like, fully believe that I'm COVID, COVID patient. Like, you know what I mean? Like, incapable of doing anything. Type like, bedridden. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you were still editing and stuff. Yeah, I edited. I did work uh, yeah. during those times. I mean, I did what I could. So, what was your experience like if you had COVID if before? If you had COVID. If you don't, then you won't. Come yeah, on. we were home forever. Yeah, oh my goodness. We watched every Marvel movie. <laughs> I started having dreams about Marvel. <laughs> Literally. I thought I was fighting... Thanos? Not Thanos, those things he sent in Avengers. Oh, the little demons? Yeah, the... The thingies. Thought I was Iron Man shooting. The dogs him. looking things? Yeah. Creature the aliens. aliens? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I was like Iron Man and Doctor Strange fighting them. So I was fighting yeah. them and I'm She woke up and she was like, I can't be watching these movies no more. I just dreamed about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's certain shows or movies that get me and I'll have scary dreams. Like prison ones, those get me. Bro. Remember when we watched Prison Break? I kept having scary dreams. I was like, we got it. I can't watch it with you anymore. I'm sorry. Oh, remember? yes, I, I was remember. having scary dreams. I was like, what the heck is she talking about? It's because, like, you have to solve a lot of problems in that movie. In so stressful. <laughs> like, always something bad happening. Like, can we just breathe? <laughs> it's a good hook show. <laughs> she like, watches, like, Friends. I watch Funny, comedy, office. office. Watching Marvel really didn't. Even that was me. too much for me. Just that helped me. One after another, it's like they just keep having problems. I just want to thank Marvel for a second, you know? Because I was like, that's the only thing I could just watch right now. Like, nothing else. And Passion of Christ. I have never seen that movie. Yes. The first day, the hardest day we, I had to. Like, I was yeah, like, he was like, we need some Jesus. He didn't say that, but like, that's how I felt. Because we had to look at, you know, the by you stripes, you, you were healed. Yeah, we had the... We had to literally see it. We had to, we had to see it. <laughs> we had to remind ourselves. Yes. So. so we watched that. And I never seen that movie. Yeah. And it was a good I didn't cry. Mm -hmm. I did want to cry when Mary was like crying. When she picked him up. I was like, damn. I wanted to cry the whole entire time. I'm like, You damn. fell asleep. I actually stayed up the whole movie. That's never happened actually, before. What the heck is that? Sleep I think I movie? felt I felt convicted if I tried to sleep. <laughs> Cause I never stay up during a movie, huh, sugar? No, I don't think I slept in that movie, sugar. Mm. No, yeah, you thought I slept. You kept on looking over. Oh. I was just quiet. <laughs> <laughs> just believing. <laughs> yeah, that movie helped a lot. <laughs> Remind us of the scripture and the Jesus, what Jesus has done for us. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, thank you for that. Everybody that prayed for us. Yeah, I feel I'm going through it. Alexa, turn TV off. Okay. Alexa! Alexa! Turn, turn off TV the TV! Off. Okay. That's our update for you guys. It's our life update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, comment down below. But the next song we are. The, the Burst, Burst Family. Family. Thank you all. Oh, baby, I'm